I'm trying to put a positive spin on the door under the stairs. I'm looking at it like it was an old iron foundry and then they built this loft space upstairs here that maybe was like the old foreman's office. That's how I'm gonna look at it to justify the door. One loft, one designer, a million new ideas. Perspective Atlanta. Gina Wicker from Sumbrella and Catherine Dash from Lonnie Magazine came today. I am excited to see what you guys have been up to. We're gonna give them an update. Hopefully they're happy with the way that things are going. Okay, luckily, Things have stayed pretty much the same since the original presentation. We haven't had to make that many changes or sacrifices. So Alex, how has the shape of the space been a challenge for you and the design? I've got the living room area here in this corner. I've got this kind of cool reading nook over in that corner. And then I have a dining niche over there. So you've got three separate functions, but the fabrics, the scheme, the feel and the look of everything is consistent throughout. So the palettes remain pretty much the same. You know, it's this whole kind of very chic, somewhat masculine, kind of sexy, sophisticated thing. So how are you gonna connect the indoors and the outdoors? That's a good question. <laughs> I am really excited about the fabric selections because it's gonna be really easy to flow from inside to outside because I can use the same fabrics inside and outside. It seems like they're really happy and that makes me happy, I guess. We're only a month out now and I'm a little nervous. That's not a lot of time, but I think he's gonna be able to do it. We're moving along well, but we have a lot of work to do still. We're feeling the space. Just sit down and breathe and see what it feels like. I'm dizzy now though, so I need a minute <laughs> before I'm gonna talk about it. The Nook reminds me of a childhood fort. It's a place where you wanna curl up on a rainy day with a blanket and a book. It feels private in a really open area. I really want it to have that perfect, comfortable chair. I want it to feel sophisticated and I want it to relate to the design, of course, but it should feel special. Odd space <laughs> number one crossed off the list. Okay. Let's go to odd space number two, the dining room. The dining I love room. The color. <laughs> the color is amazing. The dining room right now is this kind of off color, an accent color which a lot of people use to try and make a space feel like its own space. And in fact, it accented the fact that it's small. We're gonna change that simply by painting it white. It's gonna feel like a continuation of the same space, which makes it feel larger, but having a dining table will make it feel like a separate function. The chairs should have an element of upholstery because it will help relate us to the living room again. Well, I'm excited for the rest of the day. We're gonna hit up room and board, okay. look for furniture there, and then we get to go vintage shopping for some vintage oh, furniture. Okay. Room and board has a really great Sumbrella dining chair program, mm -hmm. so hopefully we can find something here. Cross your fingers. No. <laughs> I like these. Yeah, They're comfortable. Too. They rock a little bit. What are you thinking for the finish, though? Well, I don't love the stainless steel, but I think they come in a darker one. And I don't love this fabric either, so let's go down to the design center and then we can take a look at fabrics and we'll go from there. We do a darker finish on the dining chair. Then the light gray is kind of a contrast that might work. Room and board's great because they make it very apparent that there's a custom design option and they have a big range of umbrella fabrics that you can apply to almost any piece of furniture there. Vintage shopping is definitely one of my favorite things. Hi, Amy. Hi, Alex Gaston, nice to meet you. Nice this to meet is you. Selena. Hi, Hi, Selena, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We are here to find amazing vintage things. Well, we have a warehouse full of it. Awesome. So, you want to take a look? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Thanks. We'll take him. <laughs> All right, and let me know if you need <laughs> anything. Come with me. But you're not vintage. Sometimes the best things are off the beaten track. It's time to get real. We're going to have to climb into this stuff. 
Welcome to my office. If you're willing to kind of dig through things, you can find things not only at a really great price point, but you can find things that someone else maybe wouldn't have seen. It's too big for a hat, though. You look so chic. Where's my fur? How would you feel about darkening the wood on this chair? Hard to alter a, something from a master. Yeah. But maybe I'm going to be the new master, and then if I altered it, it's like a whole new thing. That would be like taking a Rembrandt and repainting it. I would totally do that if the color didn't work. <laughs> I love when you find something that's almost cool, but not super cool, and then figure out a way to make it really cool. Those were chairs. I and know. Could that happen? Yeah, that color. That's exactly what, need, what would need to happen. It, like something not quite as dark as that, but close. I saw some incredible things today, things that I'm really excited about, but that doesn't mean that they're the right thing for this project. Design is a process. It's like super mid-century. Mm -hmm. And probably too low. I know, especially because the coffee table will come up, up to here. So yeah, I know, I know. I'm a bit frustrated, of course, that I didn't find exactly what I wanted, exactly when I wanted, and that it wasn't easy. But if it was easy, everybody would do it. So I'm gonna keep looking, and I know I'll find the right thing eventually. I'm sure it's out there. Next time on Perspective Atlanta. Painting 35 feet up in the air on the fourth floor of a building that you can't fit a ladder into is going to be a challenge, shockingly enough. Any issues so far? Dee told me she had it covered as far as the drapery, so I'm going with her on that one and hope she doesn't let me down. <laughs> <laughs>